Imagine living during this time period. It's not like things got better at all. You had large cosmopolitan cities and trade that was open, and here you're having to be isolated. There's a change in climate, there's plagues, and there's wars. I wouldn't want to be alive during this time period at all. So look over here. I don't really want to fight them outright. I might try to wait them out. That might be easier. If they want to sell me out, that's fine. But if I try to go in, I don't have an army really geared towards siege battles at all. That could be difficult for me. Let's why I want to move you back for now. Go keep people happy over in our province. And down here, we could just kind of keep our hold on what we have right now. It's really up to me. I need to make more money. I could limit how many men that I have in his army. I have a lot of pikes. I could just kind of get rid of a lot if I wanted to play defensively. Or I could be offensive. I would like to replenish a little bit faster, but that will take quite a bit of time to be able to do anything. Okay, I'm going to convert one of these locations when I have the money for it. I do not have the money for it yet. I could change it over to Christian Gathering. I was meant to ignore the populace, but that might not be possible now. But if I do that, my replenishment will go up, which is nice. I would lose one food, but I would get a lot of sanitation. So I can build other buildings that could benefit me heavily. Like right now, we are losing when it comes to sanitation. There's crap all over the streets, and we're trying to walk down those streets. Let's go to inner turn right now, though. As much as I want to fight again, we need to be careful. We need to play it safe. I mean, I do not expect the Lingobardi, or whatever they're called, the Longbeards, to come after me like that. I'm going to call them the Longbeards. That might sound more appropriate for me. I'm more used to it from my Warhammer times. Yeah, I've been a fan of Warhammer for over 10 years, so it's been fun to play the new games. Though I do wish the new sanitation, or not sanitation, the uh, walls and cities were in SER in Attila and Rome too. Okay, Sermium, we got rat catchers now. That will counter our sanitation problems. The rat catchers have employed the tools of their trade to deal with the situation. Their methods are fast and effective, which is to be expected given the exorbitant amount of money they've requested. Okay, well good. Who knew that rat catching was a very lucrative endeavor during that time period? I did not know. I mean, I really want this one little town to complete my province. I hate not being able to complete my province, but I cannot fight them. That would be insane. Who's outraged in Pannonia? Right, you guys are. So we're going to have a rebellion, if I can look at it right. I've got all these holy trees going, hey guys, chill out. And I've got a commons. Yeah, they're just inherently unhappy due to the culture differences. I could just begin to change it up and get straight to Christian faith now. Let's try it out. I normally wouldn't condone it, but let's try it out now. It's going to give me a lot of sanitation. It'll counter a lot. We can begin to have our Christian faith begin to gather over in Pannonia. Yeah, we'll do that for now. I think maybe if I explained what the other two faiths are, they're not really as well known. That could have been why. How could I forget about that over here? The slums. Did I really forget about that? I guess I did. Shame on me. Okay. Untrustworthy. Oh, come on now. Give him time. He'll be okay. Attrition's over here. Right, we're losing men. I know, but they're losing men too. Okay, I need to go scout things out a little bit. Saxony, they like me a lot. The ones who don't like me a lot are the Simnonis. How do I even get to them? Okay, so I can go through here. Here's, here's a pathway. There we go. It's in a turn again. I'm not making a lot of money. I won't be making a lot of money for a while. Not when I have two armies. I mean, I did confederate. I'm trying to stay strong so that other factions do not fight me, even though I'm not able to improve my own infrastructure in my lands right now. It's quite a crime. Quite a crime indeed. Here they go. Look at that. I could auto resolve it for a very easy win. It looks like even if it would be an easy win, it's going to be costly. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Just because I want a more major battle. I want to get to like more important fights than fighting one little minor tribe. My goal is to get to a Roman fight. I don't know if we could do it in our current part, but we will try. Look at that. We did lose a few. Time for me to make money again. I'm all about that. So now we have a new town. It's going to be under our control. I could sack it, raise it. I'm going to occupy it. Let's see. Next turn only minus 20. Yeah, we'll do that. The Lingo Bardi are now gone. They were the ones who came to fight me. The Saxony are here. They have a full army. I need to find a way to get a full army. I need to probably recruit new units. Dear God, do I ever. Yeah, we'll combine what we have right now because, I mean, <laughs> we're pretty damaged and trying to replenish does not go well. Corruption would go down. Cultural conversion would be nice. Gravitas, what's over here? More campaign movement. I really do want that. I have other things I could get, like Siege Master. 
Now, I do like that because we will be besieging a lot. And what's over here? Upkeep would go down by 5%. We'll take that real quick. Done. Now I have more money. Might be a little bit, but it all adds up. We now have a lot more money to show for it. Let me go look over here. Storage pit. Squalor goes up by two. Settlement. They're happy. Cool. What can I even recruit here? Let me go look. I can get basic units like dramatic bands. That does make it difficult. I could just recruit more back here and then bring them up north. That would probably be my easier endeavor. I don't like the idea of having to transport like that, but I guess it will work. Let me go ahead and destroy that. We kind of wanted to make people happy. Flevium is over here. So... Magna Germania is where we're at right now. If I come over here to Frankie, Francie, then it's really close to Britannia or Britannia. I don't really want to be close to Britannia. Man, conquer Britannia would be interesting, though, if we were to pull that off. I don't think we could. We bordered too many other locations. I would rather head to the northeast and north. Well, it really depends if the Saxony are cool with me. Got to grow again. If you're really cool with me, I don't want them to be able to move into my lands right now. We can't trade still. Undoubtedly noble requests. They like me, but they're not willing to do much with me. Okay, so they hate the Maritania. I don't know who they are. The Frankie, they hate as well. I could go fight them and have them like me. If I rebuild, I could go do that and go take that location before they do. I doubt I have time, but we could try to. Okay, the Mari like me a lot. They're very friendly. They really indeed like me. I wonder how much money I would need to pay them. The idea is that we try to keep a few of our own tribes alive. Not the Frankie, the Gallic Rome. They're not in my blood. Rome hates me, Roman pretenders hate me, but they're dying, so it doesn't really matter. Rome is still alive, I don't know what they're doing. They're fighting every faction ever, so it doesn't really matter either. The Roxolani like me, I've got a treaty with, with the Burry, who they're not a huge fan of. The Saxony seem to like me a lot. We can trade now, cool. They don't want that. Maybe one day they'll join my confederation. I don't hate them, so if they want to move into my lands, I will allow it. I think they'll be an okay ally. I mean, even their land itself, very safe. I don't know how rich it would be for me. I doubt it would be very rich for me. Some known as you're down here, the Vandalier over here, the Varinier over here. So we've got three factions that we need to go after pretty soon. Okay, so it looks like the Varini hate me the most because I fought the Lingobardi. Right. Okay, so I do need to be able to rebuild a little bit. You are mercenaries and you're costing me a lot of money. So all of you need to go. Now I'm making money again. My leader is still pretty injured. He needs time to rebuild and heal up. These guys will take how long? Two turns to fully replenish. That's not too bad. The mercenaries are gone, so I'm very happy about that. We now need to recruit more units. I don't have any mounted units over there. I could use some artillery pretty soon. Let me go look at what we have. If I could just like wait back for just a brief moment. Here's a well. How's our sanitation? We're lacking sanitation right now. I could change it up to a Christian gathering right now and change it up. It'll be difficult, but I think I kind of want to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. It is what people voted for, so I will stick to it. I will lose one food. I have nine food, so I'm not too worried about the food part of things. Let me go look at what I truly do need right now. I could go ahead and get another range location. It's more wealth. Enclosed land. It's even more food. I do like how I, I could stack my buildings if I choose to. That's actually really good to know. I could have like a completely food-based area if I chose to. Okay, I don't want that. That would cost me money to, do, to really dismantle and get rid of. That would be a well for water, growth, and sanitation. I do like all of that. So look, at close land. I already have two of those. I don't need more. I kind of want my craftsman's house. So we'll take that. Because we're able to. Let me go ahead and recruit some new soldiers. All right, so let me go look at what you need right now. You have one group of swordsmen. I want you to have a few more. I'm glad they're not very expensive to recruit. You can get armies pretty quickly. Down here, we're still holding big army but they're about to rebel so I can't really do much about that either I do need more money in order to make people happier I will change it up to for, to a religious gathering as well I can dismantle it later but for now it feels like we probably do need things like that as I'm trying to get more money to uh, improve my lands if I look at what they have they don't really have a lot Kalinkorum that's where we're going next to potentially take a new town Yeah, I mean, we push really hard to get up here. It wasn't ideal. Promises of glory. Look at that. A dignitary at level four. Rotten food. More squalor. In Bedorgas, a large supply of food in the settlement has gone bad due to poor preservation. Many people have grown sick. We'll blast it all. Saxony are here. Again, I don't feel like they'll betray me. I could be completely wrong and they'll overwhelm me because we are kind of extended pretty far out. I need to try to build new things here. 
Okay, I'm not really worried about ships right now. Or, yeah, ships. I don't really care about that at all. Another gathering. I'm trying to change it over to Christianity. That's going to be such a challenge, I think. I, I don't even think that's a good idea. I personally believe it's going to cause a lot of hardship for me. All right. That is free. Go convert. You'll be ready in two more turns, so I'll keep you for now. If I get that now, I can get horsemen and lancers. I'm going to wait on that because I need to get a lot more soldiers. But I need to fill up all my empty buildings before slums take their place. Warrior Lodge. I guess we do need the capability to recruit something down here, so let's go over. Yeah, I got my religious buildings up. Let's go over and get a Warrior Lodge for one. Over here, I can turn it into a Chieftain's Hold. That's a lot more money in public order. We'll get that later. All right, for technology, what do we want right now? Let me go look at what would be beneficial. More growth would be great. More money would be great, sure. Over here, a bunch of Tier 2 locations. I mean, each of them takes one turn, so we'll get our... Land allocation, a sword for the warrior, a scrap of land for his family. Right. Okay, so we want... Okay, can I move you over here to recruit? Let me go look. Yeah. Let me go over here and have you recruit. That's three total. And then, do you have spearmen? Let me go look at that. You don't really have spearmen, do you? No. But I do want you to have some spearmen to counter potential... Yeah, take that. Horse heroes. Oh, cool. Okay, to attack a moving horse takes tremendous bravery or stupidity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let me go look at what you have going on. I can't pin you to go look, can I? Oh, good. It won't go away by default. Hide in the forest. Cold doesn't really bother us. I love that. It's fantastic. So if I find other factions defensively who are not used to our lands, they'll be in trouble. All right, so we'll take that too. Well, it's two turns. Got a lot of club levy men. Okay, I have one more building that I want to build over here. Again, we're just trying to get everyone happy, and I don't know if it's like the best idea. I don't know the min-maxing ways of life yet, but I'm trying to work on it. All right, let's go look over here now. What do we have? Cultural conversion, research rate. I like that. What about over here? Evading enemy agents. I want more campaign movement range. I like that a lot. I like being able to move really, really far. Makes me happy. I can't afford any of that. Let's go look around, though. Do they have other stuff? Yeah, they have a bigger army, clearly. Oh my god. They nearly have two stacks total. Holy crap. Alright, I would need to ambush them. They technically have two pathways to me, but they would probably only take... Well, then again, they could go to my own capital. That would be awful. I need, might need to bring my own secondary leader over there to go defend that location. It's really up to me, though, on how I handle that situation. All right, it's like Sony, I don't even know what you're going to go after. You're not raiding, so I know you're not trying to screw me over. All right, let's go over here and get a few more buildings that are easy to accomplish. Interesting. Yeah, I'm only... Oh, hello. Plus two food. That's five turns. That feels really powerful. Well, you know what? I want some food. So we'll take that. Let me go look around real quick. That would be one more food. Cool. But one more squalor as well. But we're about to have a lot of that cleared up, it looks like. Okay, if I build any of these right now, what would I get? Dramatic Hunters. I would get more wealth, more squalor. Public order would go down. But a woodworker would do the same thing. But at least give me Ballista, which I want. Okay, so <laughs> they're finally happy over here. I can't believe it. Let me go look at what we have. Build that up. We're trying to convert now. It's going to be a... Very weird situation. It's springs. So people are happier. Sanitation, very high. They're outraged, so my money here is going down. Still trying to get ready. Does that help out, or does it just cost more if I try to do that? Anyway. More food. Public order goes down. Squalor goes up. Replenishment goes up big time. I kind of want a storage pit then. So we'll take that over here. Less food. More replenishment, a lot more sanitation. So, like, the big part of it, I think, is to allow you to do whatever else you, you like, really want. All right. Trait gained. Tax rate goes up for my dignitary by 5%. Cool. Build a few new buildings. Quartermaster report over here. I've gotten a lot of new units. Let me go look at it. It's 8 total. It's 18 for him. So, he needs two more. I want some club levy. Well, I've got those, too. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. One group of spearmen. Let me go look at who else we want. I'm an archer, so I don't need to worry about that either. Take that. You want to have a full army. I feel like you should. 
You can get Germanic bands. I'll probably just have you recruit Germanic bands as we get ready. Let's go back over here. So are they not fighting? I guess they're not fighting. The Vereni might like me more because of what I'm doing to a neighbor. Welcome. Still trying to work on a trade agreement. So far, it's not aggression, and they still like me a lot. The Frankie, yeah, I would love to go take over. They should just join me, man. All right. That'd be great. But we know they're not going to go for that. Some no nays are fairly powerful. No, you're not. I mean, look at all that I own right now. I'm the biggest tribe around. I own the most land. The Vandali are over here. Who are they fighting? They're fighting the Nahan Navali, which are probably up here in a land that I don't really know about. They're busy fighting then, and you're busy fighting the Simnones. So the Varini are fighting them. Okay. Greetings to you. Well, when I fight them I too, we can probably get a nice honorable. treaty going on with them. Maybe confederate later as I grow in power again. All right. So, what if I had you leave? Like, do we have a nice rebellion? Let's do that real quick and just end them now. Let's take all the people who don't like my role and kill them in one location. I like that. Rebellions can be good. Hello there. Welcome to Sirmium. Are you ready to give your head? I did say give head. Actually, yeah, I forgot about you. I played them a long time ago. Rebellion. Yeah, that's how we rebel here. We burn shit down. Okay, assassination plot. That's why it tells you that a politician from a rebel party is plotting assassination. Resolution. Hire bodyguards. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to hire some bodyguards. One way to pull through these hard times. Right. Okay, so I want to... Let me go look at it. I want to provide for my people right now. We have so much land. I just want to provide for them. Hello there. How's it going? Okay, so you've got a few soldiers. Not really a lot. Let's go ahead and kill them off. Oh my god. They can kill so many of my soldiers. Why is that? Why can they kill so many? <laughs> oh man. All right. 10% from that little army. Okay, well. I was about to fight that out because that actually makes me a little bit mad. They killed that many. Good for them, but... Jeez, man. All right, now my people are happier. If I build that now, five turns, food goes down, but my public order goes down for every non-Christian temple or cult. Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, oh, in the province, so that could change if, like, they have a... Right, okay. I get that. But we are changing culture now. It's now becoming Christian. We used to be Germanic, but now we're changing it a little bit. Only because we want to try out the new religion mechanics and all that. Otherwise, yeah, I wouldn't care. Alright. If we don't like it, we could change it whenever we become like a complete empire. Let's come over here now. How's that location doing? They're actually very happy. Surprisingly, they're very happy. Let's move you down here now. You need to move back down. Thank you for coming to deliver stuff for me, but you need to come to a new location. We're going to come over here. Can I cause issues? Let's just try to do it. Do I have money for that? I do not have money for that, right? Very low on money. I've been very low on money for a while now, but I've been building up a lot of new stuff. Okay, so it's religious right now by default. I feel like as a default building, it's not a bad one to have. Nice to know that I can have people who are just kind of happy by default. They're like, yeah, okay. Things are fine. School Breaker is a very appropriate name. Let's go ahead and combine who we have. There we go. That'll take you how long? Five turns. Well, you might be here for a little while. I could go out and sack. That it? Well, I didn't think about that. I guess I could go do that. If I want to go fight. I could just go sack things. I don't know how large my foes will be, but... The Lamentation of the Women, right, indeed. We'll try that out. Attack Rome. Who's growing, I guess. No, they're not really growing. They're just kind of surviving right now. Someone... Oh, I believe someone is actually... Uh, yeah, someone is besieging Nerona. I was a little bit too late to that. Okay, Sigvald. You want to adopt one of my characters. Huh. Cool. The parties are impressed. Well, good. Gallic Rome is attacking. I hope they win. Come on, Legion 5. Beat them back so I can take you out. There's Legion 2. Oh, what a bloody affair. Romans fighting Rome. Well, not really. I mean, they just kind of adopted a lot of Roman customs over in Gaul. The Gaul of his people, indeed. All right, let's come over here now. We need to get over to the east. We finally have a new army. Okay, I need to go invest in my people. That's what I 
know that I need to do. <laughs> People aren't that happy around here. They could be much happier. Food goes down. How much food do I have right now? I am lacking food. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually low on food, so I need to go change that up and get more food. That would be one more food. Wait, cattle pens? Yeah. That would give me more wealth. Oh, that's a lot more food, actually, if I get it filled. Three turns for it. Well, I'll get that because we need food. Sensation's pretty low here. Hold on. Let me go change it up. There we go. Minus one, which is not too bad. I mean, it's a risk of 1%. It could be much worse, but yeah, I can accumulate. Let me go to look over here. Can I subvert you in any great way? Let me try to cause the issues. You failed. Making me sad, lady. Alright, I'll need her to go scout for me later. Because we need to find out where the other army's at. The Varini, I don't know what they'll do with me. Let me go look at some treaties real quick that I might be able to pick up. Saxony like me a lot. Oh, they're very friendly. They love me. Cool. They're not really fighting anyone. A defensive alliance would be great. Because having them talk. just kind of march out and help me fight would be ideal. Let me go look around real quick. Some no -nays again. I'm here to fight you. That means the Varini will like me. A lot of uh, inter-tribe politics going on around here. We have 1,800 gold per turn, which is actually pretty good, considering all the land I have. I mean, I'm in a very precarious position to where one war could set me off, because I might have a lot of land, but I'm spread out, right? So it's kind of a difficult one. That's why I probably should not have a better with the quality. But I was like, if I don't do it now, maybe I can't do it later. Here we go. More food and growth for every province. The priest tossed the signs on the white cloth, offered a prayer to... Frigil, goddess of love, the pick three strips to inspect them. The signs allow it. Cool. So now we get a lot more food. To where my people are well fed and we get a lot more replenishment, which is what I want. And we can grow a little bit faster. Yeah, they're losing it. Legion 2 is not doing as well. I mean, if I take over any location, it better be the capital area, I guess. I mean, though I would need food to support it. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen over there. I would love to go fight, but that'll have to wait. Yes, yeah, so we're losing food now. Or we will be maybe when that event is done with. I'm still changing up to culture. That's going to take time, but it is going up quickly. I mean, due to what I'm doing, it will cost me money to dismantle, but it's better to kind of have some stability. Oh, wait, no. I want to move you to normal. All right, I need her to go find out what's going on up here. Is that army still up there, or are they weaker for it? <laughs> Where's my mead, she says. Okay. Some no -nays. I don't know what to do with you yet. Greetings. I haven't really decided. But I will go fight you now. I think you might come fight me. I don't know where you're going to go quite yet. Let me try to move over here. I don't have my usual weak army. But if you come out to fight me at my town, feel free to. I will destroy your soul and call it a day. Okay, horse pens would be nice to have. Um, Squalor is certainly an issue. Food, an issue too. That would keep me at four food. Seven food is really nice. I want more fields, man. But I want my Germanic war bands and all that. How's my sanitation? Yeah, right. So we don't have any sanitation here. That'll be plus one to Squalor. So I need to find a way to get more sanitation into the like whole province. I need to find a way to build them up. They need... Oh yeah, that'll take some time to build up. So I don't want to make them too unhappy. Let me go look at it real quick. Religious building in Bergium. Got one over in my capital. Yeah, I think that's good. I don't think I need to build up higher than that. And over here, they're very unhappy. So we're about to have a pretty big rebellion. Let me go move back real quick. I'll make money, but I'll still move back and go take out that other rebellion. Okay, a meeting ground would give me a penalty to ban a treat. That's really nice. I like that. Units would be better if I recruited them here. Here's a meeting hall. More public order, but more squalor as well. We're at five. That may be temporary. I do like how <laughs> you really have to balance out your buildings. You can't just like spam stuff. I'm sure there's a format that I'll like find eventually that I'll build like at, like everywhere. But um, for now, I don't want to like spam things. It really is a matter of like one battle determining the fate of the entire tribe. That's pretty wild to me. Okay. My dignitary is more powerful now. Could I really defend against that? Like, do I have the capability to do that? We are losing people per turn. They are too. 
I could come right behind them and destroy their entire army. Oh god, I'd have to run all the way around for that. But instead, what I could do, I could take their town and then go fight their big army. Guess what? I'm right behind you. Imperium has gone up. So I can have more armies now, more fleets, more spies, more dignitaries, more champions, and I can, let's see, an active per turn one. Your power knows no bounds. You can now maintain additional armies, fleets, and agents, and issue more provincial edicts. Well, good. That faction is gone, so never mind. We didn't get the big battle that we wanted because we destroyed them outright. That's really good to know, though. If I just take out their capital, they're done for. The Vandali are over here. They've grown. They own three out of four locations in the Lugii. So we're good. We've grown more. Let me go look at what we have. What do I want to give you now? Let's doom. Let's keep on looking. Mislead army. Passive action. I like that. Get that real quick. He's leveling up. All right. Let me go look at what lands I need to own. Set up the Dava. Veronium. Pelpin. So these are all locations that wouldn't be too hard for me to take, I believe. Let's go scout things out real quick. They've got a big army over here. I could maybe lure them to me. I need to carefully play that out, but I think I could. They're not nearly as large. I would like to go fight them if I can. Let me go ahead and combine what I have. So now resupplying won't be nearly as difficult. It looks like we have a pretty full army. Let me go ahead and just recruit a basic unit while we're here. How are my pikes? I need one more group of pikes. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of pikes. All right, so you have stuff to recruit from. You have over here a chieftain's hold. We could use food and things like that. I'll let you keep what you have right now. We could change it later. And over here, we've got Christian buildings now. So what if I leave? Like, if I leave, are people happy? Oh, they're extremely happy. How's my culture doing? Let, let me go. Well, it's summer. Cool. We're not at winter yet. We've grown a lot. Banditry trade routes. I mean, clearly my armies help out quite a bit. That can get pretty extreme, though, if I'm not careful. Okay, for culture, we are beginning to grow heavily. We're going to try to keep that up. I don't know if I want that over in Bergium, maybe in my capital for now, but we shall see. Okay, they're still about to rebel. Oh, yeah, Gallic Rome took over. I do not need to raid in their lands right now. That would be an awful idea. I'm trying to avoid fighting Rome until a much later point. Rome is really getting beaten up on outside of Gallic Rome, which seems to have like a preeminent advantage. Oh, crap. That isn't what I wanted at all. Welcome. <laughs> and let us be honored. Yeah, I don't want to fight you, man. I normally wouldn't give you a gift, but uh, I don't want to die. Jupiter be praised. Let him bless your wise words. Did it help at all? Hold on. Oh God, thought it would help. Just to give some. Okay, well, whatever. The Burgundii are over here. They're very tiny. They're alone. Let me go look at who may love me. I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling, and now I know in the future to never do that again. That was a terrible idea. We have need of talk. All right. I'm sure. I know that I can get these guys to confederate with me later. They're fighting Rome. The Gothi I or the Gothi. They're defensive allies, okay. And I have not found them yet, so they're probably somewhere what up here or to the east, maybe. They're probably to the east. Yeah. I, I don't really know, man. The Burgundy I were strong, much stronger actually. So I mean like now we're finally becoming a juggernaut who's gonna be able to bully people a little bit. The Roman factions are really hard for me to convert. That's a challenge for me. I can look at that now and see that to be true. Okay, if I build any of these meeting grounds, da, 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 let me go ahead and just upgrade my capital or convert it to something more appropriate. And over here, that too. Yeah, see, like that all connects me. And let me look at it real quick. The Warrior Scalds, you'll convert or recruit what you have right now and replenish. Very good. I want better units. That will take time, though. Saxony, they're doing their own thing. Looks like my people are largely happy, though. They're fairly good to go converting it's gonna be interesting though we're gonna be the most Christian Germanic I mean to be fair like a lot of like the um, Norse faiths were kind of intermingled into the Christian faith to make it a little bit more palatable for them it's not like just a direct conversion to what we know now and today oh no <laughs> there's a lot of pagan things that were incorporated time for just proud <laughs> they want a not aggression pact I wonder why Look at that. Everyone wants a non-aggression pack now. I love that so much. Well, I don't believe I want that. Okay. 
Right to the capital. Like he's in public. The right has started in your capital. He's in public. We'll do that. I do want to battle. It's going to be a challenge to get things going, but let's try it out. Let's come over here. All right, so we know about that faction. Let's come over here, too. Just come over here. Let's go try to scout things out. Arsenium is interesting. All right, let me go look at what we have now. More growth would be great. I would love that. We have more food from all farms in all regions, which I wanted. Let me go look at what else we have. It's tier three locations. That's a little bit of time. I want to become more powerful, though. I want to become better. So I have that already. Iron anchors. I'm not really interested in using a navy at all. Recruitment cost would go down. Movement range would go up. Seven turns total. But instead, what I could do, I could get that in seven turns. And have more melee attack and more melee defense. There are two rules. Stand close to one another and follow the leader. Yeah. Easy enough. Keep it easy. Okay. The blood sworn are down here. They can build new stuff. Oh, they can expand. That's actually awesome. Now, your squalor is not doing so well. I can't upgrade you yet. I need more money and I need to have... Yeah, just more stuff. They're only tier 1. I need to get to tier 2. So, I think I might wait for one turn to go upgrade them so I can get some more squalor removed from that local area. Alright, over here. It'll take one more turn and then they'll all be okay. Let's kind of just move out and fight another rebellion. I don't mind fighting rebellions. I can train up my army like that. I mean, he's level 3. So, I already have another leader who's fairly capable because of rebellions. Norea. The campaign map is actually very exciting for me, even though we're not fighting as many battles as we might in like Warhammer. See, like in Warhammer, you get more battles but less campaign mechanics to really think about. It's so easy. It really is. And um, I really hope they change that. I have oh my god, they're huge. Okay, so we're not gonna fight them. They are very large. We'll try to we'll try to ignore them for now. Okay, riot in a capital. My influence has gone down with the black or minus five for the black horse clan. Okay. So they were the ones who did lose some influence and is now on worse terms with me. Oh, okay. Oh, really? They took over the... Mm. I didn't know that rebellions could happen like that. Usually they only pop up. Okay. Well, I get it now. I need to get there quickly before anyone's able to stop me. Can I reach it in one turn? No, I cannot. Alright, I'll be there very soon. He's keeping a piece for me down there, which is nice of him. Saxony, uh, what are you do? Are you coming to betray me? I hope you're not. That would be awful. I would be very sad about that if they were to try to betray me. Okay, here's a village. Squalor would go up, so I need to find a way to counter that. But if I look at it, I get 150 more gold. 5% more wealth from all industry in every province here. Or, wait, wait. Is it all regions? All regions in a province. So, yeah, every region here. Right, okay. All right, I don't have money to really use. So I don't want to do much with that. Let me go ahead and move my dignitary right over here. Let's go find out what they have going on. I would love to start a war and then ambush. I can't really betray their trust. That would be a bad idea. Let me go look at it. The Burry are cool with me. They like me a lot. Very friendly. Saxony, very friendly. Gallic Rome, we're working on it. Treaties. Battle support for Gallic Rome, right? I haven't fought that faction yet. For the Senate and people, be <laughs> oh my god, they have a lot of allies. Wait, they're allied to Britannia? And <gasps> no way! They're allied to so many powers. Do they have like the easiest campaign by far? It really feels like they do. I mean, that's pretty wild. I wonder if I could pay for a trade agreement. That would keep them off my back. <laughs> yeah, here's 300 gold. Enjoy. No, that won't do much. Okay. Rome is falling apart. They're much stronger than I am. I don't know where all the power is at, but it's probably pretty close to me now. Vandali are very large. No trade agreement. Okay. So they're growing. They're pretty big. They're not too worried about much, though. Verini. I mean, I could ignore you, I guess. You don't want to trade, though, which kind of bothers me. No, I'll probably just end up uh, destroying your people and your souls and your lives. My king has been conquering. He's a warring king. He's a very powerful warring king, I might add. Greetings. Okay, let's go ahead and declare war. It feels kind of neat being the one to actually declare war for once, not just like 
having to wait for others to fight me and then re react to it. Feels kind of neat. I want to ambush so badly, so I, I want to move him up way over here to be bait for me. He's very good bait. He's very good war bait. Uh, all right. To the attorney game. We're making nearly 2,000 gold per turn, which is fantastic. I just want to fight one big battle. I want to have my penultimate fight over here in the barbarian lands. A treaty I could break just because I want to conquer every barbarian land so that when we do go fight Gallic Rome, I won't have to worry. The sword was drawn, but now it's bloodied. In this Fascinating. Feud. They want a peace treaty, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, hello. An ambush. <laughs> oh my god, it feels good. I love my faction so much. Okay, so they have a lot of horsemen. They have a few hurdlers. They don't really have a lot of infantry. Interesting. Okay. I keep ambushing everyone. Because of the map design, you have to move carefully here. And they get like a very small area to move in. That's good for me. Okay, I'm glad I brought in some spearmen and some other guys too. Because that's going to be fairly difficult to deal with. Let me go look at what we need to beat down on. Holy crap. Okay, this might take a minute to deploy. It's all about that deployment. We've got a lot of trees too. And if I look at it, let me look at it real quick. Yeah, slow movement speed. Doesn't really benefit a lot of them. All right, so up here we have spearmen, right? I've got Germanic spearmen. I've got pikes, three of them. Pikes are all over here in the trees. I hate that I have to have my archers in trees, but maybe that'll work out. Let me arrows. Attack what you want. All right. Here's a barricade. Prevents them from being able to advance for a short time. That's fascinating. I like that a lot. I can move that over here. Fireballs. I like that even more. Kind of like the idea of pushing it. Well, no. I mean, those are hurdlers. I like the idea of pushing it into their Germanic Spearmen more than anything, to be honest. Okay, so we'll do that. I want to try to... Get all these balls together. Barricades, I'm going to have you... Let me look at it real quick. Let me change it up, maybe. I could just have my club levyman over here. Or I could just kind of put it over here. That's another idea. And then... Here are spike traps if they want to move forward. Alright, move back. I, I can make it like very dangerous over here if they want to move into these woods. And call trips for all their... Yeah, let's just do that for all the mounted units who want to move back. If they want to move back, they can. That's going to be very dangerous for them to do. So we've done that now. My leader is going to be watching this unfold. He's going to be like, ha ha ha, victory for me. And I want my fireballs out here. So we're going to probably mix it up just a little bit. I don't really like doing that as much, but we're going to do that anyway. Just to kind of make sure we have two groups to push down to fireballs. I want my other club levy men to be ready to go after hurlers and all that crap way over here. Mounted units, I don't know how they can't see me here, but somehow they can't see me over there, so we'll just deal with it as it is. <laughs> um, we're going to segment them like this real quick. And what I'm going to do in the very beginning, as I said, I'm going to have two groups go after the fireballs right now and just push them over here too. Just push them in, and we'll see how that rolls. Better roll towards them. That's all I know. Look at all the men that I have now. So we're all pushing fireballs into their lines now. We have pikemen who are holding. They're going to potentially run into pikemen. They're kind of segmented into a very awful location. Let's go in now and go fight. We have all the skirmishers in one area. So we'll get them all in one go. It won't take long. I'm going to move a few more men over here. I'm going to go ahead and move in some more men over here now. Yeah, come over here and charge. Come over here and charge. We'll kill hundreds of people in one location. That's going to be awful. They're charging into my pikes right now. And they're dropping one man. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. We need to watch this in slow motion because battles happen so quickly that we can't really enjoy it otherwise. They're shooting over the heads, hitting their mounted soldiers who are now dying. If anyone moved in, and they did, they're now being hit too. Though they are able to move behind me, which is awful. So let's go move in and take care of them like that. So they did manage to kind of break through and do some damage to me without having to go near the barricades. I think the fireballs probably did a lot of damage. I wasn't able to really watch that. My club living men are fighting their Germanic nobles. Oh yeah, look at that. They had 160. They're at 77 now. So we've killed a lot of their men already. 
We can rally up whatever we want. We can do whatever we want right now. Second wind doesn't really matter. We can just keep people alive and happy. War cry. Look at that. Most of these horsemen who were able to move towards me died. That's why I kind of wanted to keep all my guys on one side. But I guess it doesn't really matter too much. If I have all my bowmen now attack over here, they'll all fall apart and die. I mean, look at what we have. Outside of being flanked on one side, our plan was immaculate and just beautiful. I do have spearmen here, though, which is nice to have. So I'm going to let them go fight, too. Let's go look at what we have over here. I don't think there's a lot left. I think we've killed a great majority of what they have to offer. I'm going to go ahead and look at our fight now in normal speed. So right now... We just have a barbarian fight going on. I'm kind of surrounded over here, but that is okay because we have bowmen who are now shooting at them. I can get all my long bowmen to go shoot them right now. I can just move them all over here and just have them all attack in one area. Okay, so I now want my leader to move in. Come over here behind them. Pikemen, I want you guys to move in. Come in over here. Right behind them, if you can. We've broken most of them. Many of them are doing poorly. I want these pikemen to kind of Form up and box them in. We can go do that too. I want my... Where are they? Germanic Hunters? I could move you guys too. It's really up to me if I want to move you. Why don't you start attacking these guys over here? Uh, Germanic Band can begin to break. Pikes, I want you to go after these horsemen. They're mounted and wavering. Come over here. Your pikes are now slowly beginning to advance. We have more guys who are shattered who are now fleeing. Who are being stabbed and killed as they try to flee. We've got a few units who are taking more damage. Like my club Levy. I mean, they're meant to take damage though. Who cares? Alright. Hold on. You guys come over here. No, no, no. I didn't want you to charge in like that. Just come over here. We'll surround their Germanic nobles from behind. Not the units are largely done. Holy crap. That's a lot of men in one location. Let's go move over here. Should have find somewhere out in trees or something that we can go kill. So it looks like the entire army is done for. We've already beaten them all. Their leader is now leaving. So let's go kill him too. Okay. Infantry group up. Go attack whoever you can. Mounted units go in. If you can go, go find someone who's got like a pretty big group. Go kill them. But imagine that you're being ambushed in the middle of the night. So here's really a frightening part about my faction. And I had a feeling that their traits would be amazingly good. Is that we are stronger when we fight other barbarians. But not only that, we can ambush all the time at night. Not only can we fight at night, we can also ambush at any point. So I mean, we have a very good chance of being able to ambush. So that's why we're able to fight so easily and win. We're going to keep ambushing. I never get to ambush very much. So to have a faction based on that is actually very cool. Here they go now. Hunting down people with our holy lights that are randomly out there. In Medieval 2, they had like little torches. I kind of wish they had torches still. That would be a little bit more sensible, I think. But All right, let the horsemen have their fun now. That's hundreds of people being killed. And over here, we're still chasing a lot of people. There's that one guy left, and he's gone now. Okay. Who's left? No, no, we have more left. If they are alive, I want to find them. Who's over here? 37? Yeah, go get them too. The less we have to deal with later, the better. And we are clumped up in some type of way. Okay, so we won another major fight against another Barbarian tribe. We're still trying to amalgamate everyone. We're trying to unify the Barbarians, even though it's being quite bloody, so that we can have a unified front against Rome. Look at my kills. 286 for one swordsman group. Yeah, they probably got right into the skirmishers. They are the MVP group, though, for kills. Germanic nobles killed a lot of my club of levy men. 102, so only they really fought well. Everyone else here, look at that, dead. Okay, Christmas. Ha, <laughs> see, look, look at that. Let us celebrate this day as a feast, not for the sake of his son, which is beheld by believers as much as by ourselves, but for the sake of him who created the son this season. The Christians in your faction uh, celebrate the birth of Christ. All locals, Christian or not, benefit from the festivities. Indeed. Holy crap, that's a lot more wealth for two turns and more public order. Cool. Okay, when we're back, we'll keep on playing. I want to thank all of you for watching. Leave a like and comment down below. Look forward to another part tomorrow. I hope that you're enjoying our campaign. And do check out our Discord community. It's a lot of fun. And until then.